Look at that belly. Oh my gosh. I wonder how he's going to react because children react differently when they find out that they're about to have a sibling. Hello everyone and welcome to part 14 of the Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. In the last part I did mention that we are going to be experiencing Nolan's first day of school. I did take pictures of Nolan and his mom going to open house. So we're just going to let that be. The first day for him was open house. And then this is his actual first day of school. With that being said, I'll let you know what school he went into. Because I did not choose this school because I switched to Layla to progress her story. It ended up that Nolan is in military school. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what that looks like. <laughs> Let me put the walls down real quick. He does have some things he's gonna get done, like his hygiene and all that, and get something to eat. Kennedy should be downstairs making breakfast as we speak. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what school he's in. I wanted to talk about this because I find it to be very interesting because when I was not playing with Nolan, his parents put him in military academy. And what I find so funny about that is my boy Dominique wants to join the military career. So I'm not going to remove Nolan from that because I find it to be kind of on brand with the story that because... Dominique is going to go into the military very soon after he completes his last promotion, which we also need to call out. We also need to, what is it, cancel some time off so that he can go ahead and get promoted. <laughs> because I'm thinking that both of them should start the military journey in this part. So Nolan is going to be going to military academy and then once Dominique gets promoted. He's going to complete his working at the professional sports career and move into the military career. So we have quite a bit to do. And <laughs> Kenyari's birthday is going to be on Wednesday. So let's hope that we can make it between Tuesday and Wednesday in this part. <laughs> this itinerary is going to be pretty jam packed. So Dominique can go ahead and get up and have something to eat. Everybody's gonna have something to eat. The baby is hungry as well. And let me go into the relationships, yeah. So, as y'all can see, Layla is an acquaintance to Kenyari because Layla came over here yesterday in the game and she met Kenyari and played with her a little bit. I think I got some pictures. I will insert pictures of like the stuff that they did off camera so that y'all can see how the story progressed when y'all weren't here. Okay, your family need to take care of some things. I'm going to have to, like, have you chill out for a moment. Mm, All right. Look at Nolan enjoying his grilled cheese. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and grab this pig and put it on. I think it's F11, yeah. And then look at Nolan. He is so adorable. Good time for some breakfast. What is, I think it's this, yeah. Okay, they got the radio on again. Look at him and his mom enjoying some grilled cheese. So cute, so cute. As y'all can see, I did change up Kennedy's PJs. She got some lilac rumpers to sleep in because the thing that she had on, like the PJ she had on before, they were from my creator sim I did years ago, and it's not morphed well. I definitely wanted her to wear some PJs that was morphed with her weight because her weight does fluctuate, and she is pretty athletic. When I'm not playing with them, they do like to work out, so I just let them enjoy it. The good part about this is that Nolan had some breakfast before school and he actually started school in two hours. So that's great for him. <laughs> Nolan's going to have a shower as well before he goes to school. He wants to do cardio workout. And here is, okay. Yeah. Like I said, he's going to be heading to school soon. How would I cancel time off? Oh yeah, I did have this. Okay. I forgot I told him to do that. <laughs> Okay, he did get paid. Okay, he goes back in eight hours, which is great. 
because I need him to get a promotion. All right, before you get on any type of tablets, please put all of this away and clean up. He doesn't want to play a game with Kennedy. I'm going to try to get that done. Look at Kennedy feeding her fish. So cute. Oh, oh, unknown causes, nauseous, forgot. <laughs> okay, can I keep up? Can I keep up? I don't think I can. I'm trying to. <laughs> but I also find it funny that his dad works in the professional sports career and that he inherited this athletic trait from that. So that is those apples. He is, I thought the bus was going to come get him. Miss Kennedy is in a bad mood from unknown causes, but this is the last pregnancy, which I am proud of. No more kids after this. And I won't be helping Layla with her situation because ain't nobody told her to have triplets. <laughs> All right. So I went ahead and fixed up the aging setup because I forgot that my aging gets reset when my drivers update. <laughs> <laughs> that was rough okay so Dominique was working on the garden but he needs to take care of Kenyari for a moment he'll be going to work when Kennedy comes home so it's a good trade-off in terms of watching Kenyari I know I know he took a moment he took a moment it's okay yes <laughs> okay she should be good now. Yeah, she's good. I'm going to have Dominique take care of the garden and stuff. And then when Kennedy gets off of work, we will be back. All righty. So Nolan and Kennedy are off of work and back from school. It is definitely time to work on some homework. Also, I forgot to mention she does want to learn Sunshine and Rainbow's birthday cake. So another thing, in case y'all didn't know, there was a setting in the portrait panel that somebody should have told me about. Dreamcatcher. So all this time, I was using portrait panel to story progress, okay? And Dreamcatcher is what allowed me to keep Kennedy's family's wishes as I worked on the town outside of them. So when I switched back to this family, all the wishes and stuff and plans that they had would stay on them which is what i wanted so i'm so glad that that worked i did copy and make an extra save in case it didn't work so yeah i did prepare and back up my save before i tried to see what was going to happen so that's good to know i just wanted to share that so if you're looking for something like you know if you're trying to switch between households or what's the word rotational play definitely use Dreamcatcher from portrait panel in in Ross. but i'm sure y'all may know that y'all may not just in case you didn't know that's literally all i needed in order for me to rotational play so when i go back to my current household because i definitely want to upload them and share them with y'all i'm gonna be using that to rotate between families so that is so good to know. What is she doing? Oh, I know what she doing. You just got to have that baby carrier. <laughs> Whatever. How about you tend the garden while you're out here? Because there is a lot to be harvested. Alrighty. So Nolan is now done with his homework. He is kind of hungry again. But I am going to have him play catch with Gabe for a little bit have some fun with his new friend his buddy oh okay so much is happening <laughs> so much is happening right now okay did you put her in? okay you did thank you now <laughs> okay we're gonna have to change up her bottoms but let me go ahead and stock all ingredients for her. Come down here and use the restroom, please. That wasn't even my sim. Okay, well, they gave me a notification about Amari. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I think it's because they aged up. Okay, whatever. Go ahead and continue cooking this because it is time to eat again. Ooh, 
Who aged up this time? Arela. Okay, Arela aged up. We're gonna get another one because they are triplets. Go ahead and cook that. What was being made? Mac and cheese? Okay, finally. And then Leilani aged up as well, like I said. So, guess what we are about to do? <laughs> we are about to quit Dominique's job. So now he should be, yeah, reach level five of different careers. So let's go ahead and can we quit here? Yeah, go inside and quit. All right, so I'm gonna quit. Yes. And then now we can go and join the military career. Where is it? Is it out here? Yes, it is. All right, I'm gonna have him come out here and join the military career and attend handiness. All right, so Dominic's taking care of that. It's so much to do right now. <laughs> did she have some mac and cheese? I think she did, cause we did serve mac and cheese. We also need to go ahead and try to repair this shower because they keep breaking it. And I do believe we're gonna run out of room because she just found out that she is pregnant, okay? So Dominique has his job now. Dominique finished his career in professional sports and now he is in the military career. And I find those two to work hand in hand very good because he's gonna be moving on up in the military career, as y'all can see. His skill is outstanding. So he's going to have a good time getting promotions and leveling up. Kenyari is such high maintenance. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure she stays up on that. I'm going to work on Kennedy's clothing for her pregnancy in a little bit. And then, oh, oh, that was loud. <laughs> when Dominique gets home, we will all come together and talk about the pregnancy with Nolan and Dominique. He just got the lifetime wish to be a superstar athlete, and I'm gonna let him be that. I think it makes sense for him. Let's go ahead and have him, is that mac and cheese still out? Yeah, grab you a bowl of that mac and cheese. And then I'm gonna have you use the restroom as well. What is happening? Who is this? She is kind of tired, so just get you a little bit. Why you can't sleep? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Kennedy cannot sleep because Kenyari is crying. Didn't I just tell you to give her a bottle? What is going on? Feed the baby. Oh. All right, and it's definitely her birthday now, so that's good. <laughs> okay, great. Now, put her in the crib. You are going to get some sleep. Everybody's gonna get some rest, and I'm gonna handle their needs and all of that, and then, in the morning, I think she will talk to them about the pregnancy and hopefully it'll be over some breakfast. So I will see you all when we are back in the morning. Alrighty, so it is the morning and Kennedy is currently making breakfast for everyone. Now, whether they are able to eat it or not, we will see. But I definitely wanted her to get in here and whip something up in the kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and have Dominique clean up this counter while he can. Everybody is very much hungry, so it is definitely time to eat. I'm gonna go ahead and have her call all of them to a meal this time. We can go ahead and have Nolan get off of the easel. <clears throat> so Nolan was able to get an easel also because he wanted to learn how to paint and have an easel, so. Definitely let him get one. All righty. <laughs> so we can have breakfast. Yay. So excited. <laughs> we, okay, there's a trash can right there. All right. All righty. I'm not going to answer those because we have our own conversation. <laughs> so I think she's just going to prep them up and let them know that she has a surprise for them. But she'll probably tell them later when they all come back because... Dominique's working time has changed so he literally goes to work from 7 to 2 now and that is the difference so we may have to figure out what we're gonna do until Kenyari becomes a kid it is Kenyari's birthday today so we're definitely going to try to throw her a party or something 
I don't know if it'll be a party, but we'll see. Nolan has 10 days before he becomes a teenager and he has a loose tooth as well. So while he has time to, he's going to clean up the plates from breakfast. And they had eggs and toast for breakfast, if I did not mention earlier, which is a custom meal, which I enjoy having custom meals. It just gives the game a little bit more spice and something different to have. And now Nolan should be getting ready for school. Did you finish your homework? Yes, you did. All right. Look at that. Military dad and his son is in military school. All right. So I think she's going to put Kenyari in the crib. And I'm definitely going to have... Uh, is Kenby off today? Oh, she actually is. Okay. So because I want to get the party in this part, I am going to have kennedy take care of the house and the garden and when everyone gets home we're definitely going to age up kenyari so i will be right back kennedy wants to learn the sunshine and rainbows birthday cake recipe so i'm definitely going to let her buy it we do have a mint truffle birthday cake a carrot one and some other ones so i'm gonna have her learn these you only need to be level two to learn these which i enjoy when when did you want to practice writing Learn this birthday cake recipe, please. At least one of them. I love this wish so much. It's just so cute. Sunshine and rainbows birthday cake recipe. All righty. So now she should be able to make it. Is it in dessert? Yes, it is. Go ahead and make this cake for your daughter. I really like that that's possible though, because we don't always have to buy a cake. She can just make it herself. Which I think is so cute and much more special. <laughs> what is wrong with my brain? I found it to be much more special when Sims make cakes for parties and stuff. So you can, you should be able to age up a Sim with this cake. As well as serve it as a regular cake, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Look at that! It's so cute and fresh. Oh my gosh, yes. So we can go ahead and blow out the candles for Kenyari. Let's go ahead and pick her up. I was going to throw a party, but I, I just don't think so. <laughs> so who's going to have birthday party for Kenyari? Oh my gosh. Look at Kennedy rocking her baby one last time before she becomes a toddler. I wish they could. There needs to be a mile where you can hand the baby over like the Sims too. So in case anybody, y'all, get the person, get the person that needs to handle it. All right. So I think all the family's going to come together and wish Kenyari a happy birthday. And let's lock in the homework wish. A fresh baked birthday cake for Kenyari. So cute. <laughs> love it love it and they're all hungry so they're definitely gonna grab a slice of that i need somebody well you can do this go in there and clean that sink real quick please thank you all righty kenyari is a toddler now and just like every single one of these kids like to do start teaching themselves how to walk <laughs> but i think it's the mod that i have in here that allows them to like stand idle instead of sitting so this is how they look i forgot to mention that but yes so all of my toddlers when they age up they stand idle or any toddler in general will stand idle instead of sitting which i find to be so cute so excited i think it's time for y'all to uh grab a slice of that cake definitely and it is 6 p.m now are you, are you gonna grab slice yes you are okay cool all right i'm gonna just go ahead and have him top off on his bladder look at that fresh baked sunshine and rainbows cake oh my gosh i do need dominique to clean up these plates as well 
<laughs> All right, so y'all know the drill. Look at her hair, though. She got that textured hair as she should. So I'm going to work on Kenyari's outfits, and then I will be back. And hopefully Nolan will be done with his homework by then, too. All righty, y'all, look at her. She is too cute, period. Okay, I think the cake should be good to put away. No, it's not good to put away because both of them need to eat. I think we should feed Kenyari her birthday cake. So we're going to sit and feed. <laughs> or can we do that? I don't think it's not showing up here. Oh, well. Or maybe if we grab a slice of it. Let's see. Can we grab a slice? Oh, gosh. Grab a slice. Can y'all like not do this right now? Do not eat it. I just wanted you to grab a slice. I just want to see something. Sit and feed. There it is. No thanks. Yeah. Go ahead and feed her this. So you do have to grab a slice out of the cake and then feed it, which is great. Both of them need to eat, but I'm going to have him feed her first. And Nolan is doing his homework. Let's move this out of the way. Kennedy can come over here and clean up this. Perfect for pictures. Let me go ahead and put the walls up. As y'all can see, I did change up the house a bit with the decor to be a bit more lilac inside as well. I wanted to make her house a bit more lilac and bright in here and get rid of that peach orange tone. <laughs> peach, peach is good if it's, I have to get the right peach color but as for now i want to do lilac especially for kennedy so let's finish grabbing these pictures no blue. look at them happy birthday kenyari i love that we're able to feed her her birthday cake it's so cute her mom is just in the background with her belly i bet you that's blue fondant because i can see the white icing in between the slices oh my gosh that looks so good she said i'm done oh so cute i know that was yummy oh look at them look at the dad feeding his daughter so lovely thank you for that <laughs> All right, it's definitely time for him to grab a slice of the cake too. So go ahead and grab you a slice after you take care of whatever you're doing. And then Kennedy is over here just dancing it away. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, we got another toddler. She is so cute. Oh my gosh, another picture, gotta grab it. I, am, I meant to, did I? I don't think I grabbed any more toddler pics. That's what I meant to do is get some poses. I will get some. We got this portable potty, which I love. We can just drag it anywhere that we are in live mode. And let's go ahead and potty train her a little bit. We do need to make time to talk to Nolan and Dominique. He is done with his homework, which is great. This is a good time to clean up them plates and put away that cake now. Their hunger is crazy. <laughs> All right, come on, y'all. Oh, I forgot. We should potty train them. That's it. <laughs> okay, so Kenyari is potty trained. She's going to go ahead and put her in a crib, and she needs to use the restroom herself. Alrighty, we finally got it together. So Kennedy is about to announce her pregnancy, her last and final pregnancy to Dominique right now. <laughs> right there. Perfect. Perfect. So cute. So cute. All right. So you still need to talk to Nolan. So let's go ahead and announce our pregnancy to Nolan. You're about to have your last and final sibling. Look at that belly. Oh my gosh. I wonder how he's going to react because children react differently when they find out that they're about to have a sibling. Oh, he's excited. Yay. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay. Oh, hug again. Okay. All right, I thought I was going to be able to get pictures, but it's fine. 
dig than that. What is he talking about? All right. What is this? Eat some raspberry pie. Look at these two over here. Look at these two. <laughs> he is teaching her how to walk right now. What? I love it. Oh my gosh. I would like for y'all to like leave something up to the next part. <laughs> they said we can this done right now. Okay. Okay. Look at her! Oh my gosh! So cute! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He's hungry himself, but he's in the bed. Mm. How is that gonna play out? All right, this house needs to be cleaned, so I'm gonna have her clean up the house. And they seem to be in an okay mood. So this is definitely the time that we're gonna end this part. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. I don't know what's going to happen in the next part, so that's going to be a surprise, but I'm pretty sure some of these wishes take time, so they will be fulfilled as time progresses. For example, Dominique, I don't know when the baby will be here, maybe the part after next, but we will see. She does have to go to work tomorrow as well, so we will be working on her hand and his skill and all of that, and then we got our boy Nolan who needs to enrich his friendships. So there's that. But I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. And stay breezy.